Hello, future engineers. Uh, today we are going to be looking at how to set up our VEX VR world. Uh, this is going to allow us to program robots uh, using a VR-like environment and write some code inside of Python. We're gonna be writing it in Python. So the first thing that we need to do is go to vr.vex.com. That will bring us right to a web page right here. And when it typically opens up, it's going to open up something like this, where it looks like a black coding page, as well as it will have a little video tutorial if it's your first time ever launching vr.vex.com. Uh, it will have a little bit of a tutorial that you could watch if you wanted to, but I'm gonna go through a lot of that stuff today too. So it's there if you need it. So this is block coding, which is basically drag and drop coding right over here that we can drive forward. We can go and look at controls and say, wait for a second. And then we want to turn right for 90 degrees and then drive forward again. Pretty simple, straightforward block coding. Now we are not going to be block coding in this class. We're gonna be using a text editor and scripted coding, so scripting. And uh, in order to do that, we can convert projects to uh, text coding, but I don't recommend that. I think that we should start inside of our text coding. And the reason why we're doing that is because it creates a more authentic experience. Unfortunately, the Mars rover is not being coded in block coding. It's more just script. So that's what we're gonna do. So what I would recommend doing is going file and then create a new text project. I'm gonna discard this project right now. And this gives us a lot of really good stuff to get started with coding a website. We still have some drag and drop functionality that works a lot like block coding, but we get to see the actual arguments that are uh, being placed in there along with the syntax that is related with Python. And that's one of the hardest things about learning any new coding language is learning the specific syntax that goes along with it. So over here, we get to see all the different commands for the drivetrain, for how to activate the magnets, uh, for different looks, and we'll go over what each of those are, and different control structures and sensing and all of that. Uh, good stuff over there. So this right here is something that we can fill in. Whenever we create this, we get a pre-formatted template with some commented out areas. So we can always uh, change up what this is. We can change the author to Mr. Forberg. We can say the date that it was created on. Um, say 1.31.21. Cool. So just to quickly go over this, this is going to import all the VEX code, which is all the stuff that we have over here. These a lot of times won't work if we don't have this. And then we have our main function, which basically anything that we put inside of the main function will occur. And then we need to have this, it says do not delete. This is just to make sure that what we write in code is then put into this VR world. So. For example, this is already written out for us. It just says drive train forward. Uh, so drive forward for 20 millimeters. So when I hit start up here, it's going to load our uh, playground as they call it. And you can see I have uh, wall maze selected. The default is grid map. And when I hit play right there, it'll drop forward for 20 meters. We can also change the perspective too. Um, go over here and then hit play and we can see this. So this is going to be a really helpful tool for us to actually write the code. Now, the next thing that I want to talk on is how do we save these assignments and how do we make sure that we're not losing our progress from class to class? How we do that, we want to make sure that on our desktop, we have a new folder. So I'm going to make a folder right here and I'm going to call this our VEX VR. Oop, VR, cool. So this is gonna be the folder that I save everything. So now I can go back to my VR and when I go file, I can save to my device. It's gonna download it. Um, oop, it's not gonna be able to open up this. So I'm going to show in folder. Oop, I lost it. Cool. So I can show in folder and right here we've got our vex vr project i can drag that onto my desktop 
and then from the desktop with that VEX code, move it onto that folder that we created, VEX VR. So now in my VEX VR, I can have all my programs saved right there. Cool. So that is just a quick overview of our VEX VR, and we're going to get started uh, writing some code inside of the next video. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.